You're killing me, Smalls. Anywhere. Here we go. There's this mystery here that's staring us all in front of the face, which is... I wouldn't usually do this for pretty much anybody, but for some reason I feel like maybe this is an important thing, because you know what, people want to tell you if you don't know who I am. Yeah, right? I, uh... I... Boy, I can see myself all right. What's his name in front of the phone on a YouTube video? I don't know. Run! Happy to be here to speak. Be part of this documentary that we'll be able to put together. The Freak Show, folks! You're in it! Marvel, the dollar you can get two for three. When I thought that, it floored me. I screamed and I started crying. I am this from everything, and I question everything. People have been mostly um, not really taking it seriously. Salutations, and welcome to one and all. That sounds like some crazy greeting from a sideshow carny. Inviting the people to enter a strangely lit freak show town. I got me to thinking. If they, whoever they may be, say that all the world's a stage, then you two must be a grand sideshow. <laughs> all the players vying for the attention of the masses with all sorts of vivid banners, bizarre headlines to spark the wild imaginations of the attendants. Just like the freak shows of old drawing you in to see a live man-eating chicken for a price <laughs> Just to have your hopes doused with a bit of reality, leaving you angry or hysterically happy, but either way feeling a little foolish for falling for the trickery and letting your imagination get the best of you. Ah, the sideshows of yesteryear, with the aroma of popcorn filling the air and the sounds of carefree carnival goers seemingly in the distance, creating that nostalgic ambiance all while the sideshow barker entices you with promises of amazement and wonder. Before computers and even television, people would flock to see human oddities and strange acts borderlining danger and insanity seeking to pass those warm summer nights while trying to fill that insatiable hunger for mystery and intrigue, that human desire to see something unbelievable and even shocking to the senses, made even more exciting in the night air with multicolored lights flashing in a nerve-wracking array of colors strategically placed for the greatest effects. And though carnivals and fairs still pop up from time to time, with rides to thrill and games to take your money, the true sideshows and freak shows of old have faded slowly into the annuals of history, much like the gunslingers of the Old West. Memories of a time and atmosphere that seem more of a dream than a reality. 
And due to modern advancements in technology and the call to be politically correct, the lots called freaks of nature are now simply handicapped individuals, and the side shows are little more than parlor tricks doctored with bad dialogue. Well, maybe an occasional sword swallower or fire eater to amaze the wide-eyed children, but nothing really that hasn't been seen already on some televised talent search program. Just to hear some judge on America's Got Talent tell some juggler or acrobat they could have a future in the circus. Of course, without going on to say the circus is somewhat a dying breed, unless maybe you're playing on the Vegas Strip. So-called social media is where it's all at now. The true circus of life, with all sorts of clowns sharing their every moment of every waking hour. The Internet of Things, as it were, where one can go to be entertained and dazzled, shocked and amazed, all at the push of a button. And thus, the great freak show that is YouTube, where one has difficulty discerning what is true and what is not, much like the quantum distortions of the actual reality you preside in at this very moment. So let me say this as you peer at your screen. Finish up. Thrills and chills, something for everyone. Come one, come all, step right up. From 9 to 99, something for all ages. It's yeah. turn, pick your poison, and hit play. From truth seekers to truth tellers, already willing to tell you whatever truth you want to hear. While the <laughs> truth that's right before your eyes. Lies and lunacy weave together in a web of perspectives from every aspect of life designed to fit your point of view so that you don't have to do nothing but hit that thumbs up so you can feel justified that at least you've done something constructive. <laughs> it really doesn't matter as long as you've played the game. The chilling part is that everyone understands the terminology related only by a symbol, much like hieroglyphs of ancient Egypt. People now relate more meaning to a picture than they do the written word. LOL to share your laughter. <laughs> G to share your shock. And it's okay to BRB. We're all <laughs> Everything is appreciated to such a point. We now use emojis to share our emotions. We live in society rather than with their face in a book. They book their face on Facebook looking for approval to a green from someone that they'll never meet. And you know what the scariest part is? Everyone's looking for something while totally unaware that something is looking at everyone. From cameras on the phone to cameras in the street, whether on the highway lane or in the checkout lane at the store, you can bet there's a camera there to monitor your every move. How's that sound to you, brother? That's close enough. I mean, it wasn't perfect, but it's close okay, enough. Okay, I, I read it just the way you wrote it. Maybe we'd have been better off if we just had you do it live. That's what you, you want to do it live? You want me to do it live? Yeah, man, do it live. That'd be awesome. Yeah, you just tell them whatever you want. Just tell them whatever I want. Yeah, yeah. But as long as you stick to your script, right? <laughs> oh, jeez, man. Hello, my name is Daniel from the Scary Performance YouTube channel. And I did this little bit for photo ebooks because, well, let's face it, the guy needs all the help he can get. <laughs> I did the script, dude. <laughs> Seriously, he needs some help. And, well, mm -hmm. we're all pitching in to do that. I mean, this video wouldn't be the same without me in it, right? Go no. dog, are you alive? I've moved. Yeah, that'll set the record straight right there. All right, good, good boy.
the fact of the matter is that we all need to go well. You know, we live in a world where the majority of the people have become so complacent with the current technology that more time is spent interacting with a screen than actually interacting in a physical sense with other people, whether through television, computers, or your trusty cell phone. The programming seems to be the same. And what do you get from all those screens? An image of the system you're in. We're all caught up like trapped insects in the World Wide Web. The WWW, the Vol, 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 numerically the 666, with the screens presenting you with images that both live and speak. Ideas and ideologies blended together with amazing technologies that speak across the span of the Earth's population, creating an addictive playground of information overload to such an extent that people cannot distinguish what is real and what is not. Now to add to the dilemma, or dilemma, we give you the Mandela effect. I wanna give up. I wanna go home. I wanna go back to where I was before. I wanna give in. Cause I'm starting to see there's nothing, nothing here for me. Seems like life is a game. How to play. I feel like nobody's winning. I feel like I'm wasting my day. For what? A dream. I hope that life is better than it seems. I'm tired. I'm lost, but I have to believe there's a God, nevertheless. I wanna give up, I wanna go home, I wanna go back to where I was before, I wanna give in. I'm starting to see there's nothing, nothing here for me. Seems like life is a joke. Not that funny anymore. It feels like we're all on the clock, and we just try to forget that we are. But why do we lie? lie? Isn't it our fate in this life? Die and fade away. See, time is what makes us try. Nevertheless, I wanna get up. I wanna go home. I wanna go back to where I was before. I wanna get. I'm starting to see that there's nothing, nothing here for me. And I wonder if she didn't take from that tree. If we were still perfect, if life was still the dream, would it be me? Give up. I wanna go home. I wanna go back to where 
thought it was before I wanna give in Cause I'm starting to think that there's nothing Nothing here for me I wanna give up I wanna go home I wanna go back to where I was before Nothing here for me. There's nothing, nothing here for me. Oh, there's nothing, nothing here for me.